Hey guys, so I'm making this recipe for, it's called cottage potatoes because I don't know if you know, I love, love me some cottage cheese. Um, I've had this for a little while, it was in the freezer so it's fine, um, but I wanted to figure out, I needed something to do with it. So I decided, you know, can you make it with potatoes because it's very cheesy, it kind of reminds me of ricotta in some ways. First time I had it was only a couple of years ago, but I do love cottage cheese. So you'll need about six largest potatoes. I peel them and I dice them into 16 pieces. One medium white onion, one stick of butter, about a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of paprika, sorry, <laughs> that was pepper, teaspoon of salt, and then two cups, 18 ounces of cottage cheese. I got the large curd. To me, it doesn't really matter. Eventually, we'll bake this, but the first thing we have to do is I like I'm also I'm a little bit paranoid I all worry that the actually it's a pretty fairly large dice but I'm also worried that the onions won't fully fully cook in the oven to the way I like them to be cooked especially raw white onions nobody likes that taste well I don't like that taste so I'm gonna be boiling it with the potatoes and it'll infuse the potatoes even more with that oniony goodness I was surprised that this recipe when I've looked at different ones didn't call for garlic so you know I'm not gonna be crazy with it I'm gonna let it go for now um, at some point, I may add garlic to add to the allium family love. But for right now, just add it to this large pot here. Fill it up with water, lid. Cook it for however long you need to cook it for, and then I'll show you the next step after that. Hey guys, so it, I think the, what it cooked for maybe an hour or so. I can't remember exactly how long everything cooked. Just trying to move things over as I speak. But yeah, the food cooked, I mean the potatoes and the onions boiled an hour. Probably a little less than that. Um, you just want to make sure it's soft. I was doing other things. So this is something you can definitely do in the background. So here are the potatoes and onions. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter in here. I have something funny to tell you. I actually have three different kinds of potato mashers. So I have this kind here. I have this kind here. And then I have a third one that's kind of an amalgamation of the two. It looks very odd. But I thought that was just funny to tell you. Anyway, so before I mash, I'm going to mix. Let's give it a little mix to get the butter around. Uh, that's obviously not all the butter we will use. And you won't need that much butter anyway. I mean, a stick for six potatoes is pretty good because you will also be having the cottage cheese. And that's pretty creamy. You don't have to be terribly fastidious with this. By that I mean you don't have to mash it too crazy, but you do want it broken up. Like, break it up. Get some elbow grease in it. And normally, I mean, I wouldn't show you this, but second but I'm going to be throwing the other ingredients in like right after and then throwing it in the oven right after so it wouldn't make any sense to kind of hold out on you when as you can see I'm done so obviously the onions the likelihood of the onions mashing as well as the potatoes is fairly low but there we go that's done mix the other ingredients in before my camera dies so two cups 16 ounces of the sour of the sorry the cottage cheese this is why you need to read the description bar you guys teaspoon of salt yes that was a teaspoon don't worry it's potatoes they absorb a lot of salt teaspoon of pepper and the teaspoon of paprika we will just um we're sprinkling on the top, so don't worry. I love pepper. I want this mixed really well. And we're going to transfer it to about a 9 by 13 pan. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to pause the video, transfer this to the pan, then show you what happens next. Voila. Not sure if you can tell the difference, but yeah, it's in there. So now the other rest of the butter, I put it into little squares. And we're going to dot it across 
across five aprils ha 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 i'm kidding but i heard that book was good actually no i read that book it was a good book anyway so here we go just dot the uh, the rest of that stick which would be if you guys were counting two if two tablespoons went in then six to make eight sprinkle the paprika over the top I know I did it wrong. I'm just gonna take the best part of cooking. This is about a teaspoon. It's really for color, even though it's smoked paprika, so it'll add a small amount of flavor, but not terribly too much. Okay, so 400 degree oven, 20 minutes covered with foil, 20 minutes covered without foil, and then when it's done, I will take it out and I will show you. Hey, what a heck of a transition. Look how beautiful it is. So when you first take the cover off, it's going to have pools of butter. It's fine. Just bake it for the extra 20 minutes. That will slowly start to, the liquids will evaporate and then the fatty, delicious -y parts will be fine. So what I'm actually going to do is what I would, serve, the way I say this, this is very soft as you can see. Yes, my hands are clean. Don't worry. Um, this is very soft as you can see. Um, and what I'm going to do is just mix it up so it's like mashed potatoes. But I'm going to go get a spoon. This isn't super hot out of the oven, but it's been recently in the oven. It is fairly acquainted with an oven. I'm going to take a corner, and the corners are really crisp. I like that. Just a tiny little piece. But it's got the paprika, it's got the dark paprika part. It's got the butter, it's got the potato, obviously the onion infused in the water. If you don't want onion in it at all, you could just put the onion in like a, um, what is it called? Oh, those little bags, the little mesh bags, a bouquet car garni bag, little cheesecloth bag, whatever, and then take it out at the end. I like the bits of onion, I just don't like them possibly raw. Mmm, cheesy and delicious. You could serve this with something like very meaty. You can serve it with chicken too. But you can serve it with like something dark, red, meaty. Um, my Mississippi pot roast. That's on my vlog. I think that's what I might do. I might serve this at a dinner party. This is for me. This makes about eight. Um, yeah, I'll probably have a dinner party maybe in the winter. And serve this with my Mississippi pot roast. Boom good to go cottage potatoes anyway i hope you enjoyed this video it tasted delicious i'm going to be eating the crap out of it for the rest of the time i have it and i will see you guys in the next video